Hey everyone and welcome back to for oh wow <laughs> words are hard. Welcome back to Horizon. I was gonna call it Forbidden West Horizon or so. I don't know where I was going with that. Hello, hi. My brain doesn't work tonight. Welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. Uh, last time I was streaming, I had some uh, connection issues at the end of the stream, and. Uh, we were exploring these ruins and then things went bad. So I just walked out and saved. So we didn't miss anything. I was in there. I just found a vent that I could pull off. And that's pretty much where we left off when the connection went all haywire. So that's where we are. It's a ruin from the old world. I could find something interesting inside. Here in Horizon Forbidden West or whatever I was about to try to call it. Forbidden West Horizon? That kind of works. That's what I'm calling it now. It's Forbidden West Horizon. Okay. What do we have in here? So anyways, let me get back to where I was. Hmm. I haven't found a key module. Maybe I should take another look around. What's this data say? Alright. Uh, I read that before, but let me just make sure it didn't go crazy. There's a code for the locked door in this data, but I still need to find a key module. Three hour stream again? Indeed. Indeed. Alright, so, this is where we left off. I just pulled that down, and I think I can pull this down too, and I think I need to. Yeah, there we go. Okay, gotta find a key for the door. What do we have here? Oh, my pack's full. I can get it for my stash later. Uh, it seems to be stuff on the outside. That's interesting. Is there a way over there? Huh. That's a little strange, but maybe we go down and then up? That's my best guess. Down and then up, perhaps. There's more of the ruin down here. Where to now? judged how are things they're good just hanging out trying to enjoy my weekend it looks like I could climb up here actually oh well I can't reach the ledge above now guess I'll have to find another way up well never mind all right so this was our other way up how do I actually get there, though? I can't jump that high. Is it from here? Nope. Uh. Hey, Lloyd, can't jump that high. Is there something else I can pull down? Mm. I don't think so. Hey, Lloyd, come on. Show me those awesome hops you got. Oh wait, hold on, let me turn this on. Yeah, I don't... Oh, yeah, I was gonna say, I might be able to drag down a box, but I don't think there is any. Weird, all right, let me go back up. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything with that. What's the deal here? Oh, what is this? Is 
this? Oh, crap. <laughs> Oops. All right, well, I did see a box, so I probably just dragged the box into the hole and then we're good. Although it seems like I could just jump that gap, which I did. Okay. Oh, wait, no, this is... Oh, yeah, drag it down into the hole. I see, I see, I see. And then get up to that one spot. Great. This should be useful. Down it goes. Good thing you guys told me I could push these. Otherwise, I'd be slowly dragging it with my bull caster. All right, we are up. Hey. Oh. Where does this lead? Oh. Uh, <laughs> this way. Sweet. This will be in my stash when I need it. What is that? Is that what I'm looking for? It might be that key module. Anything else up here? I don't think so. Key module. Cool. We got it. And I think we got everything around here too. Yep. Come on, climb up. There we go. Okay, let's see if this key fits. Also, Shinies, I don't think you fully read the last data point. Uh, pretty sure I did. Let's find out. The last data point was... Was, uh... Can't seem to find it. Oh, Relic Ruins, there it is. Yeah, this one. Oh, maybe I didn't. I think you're right. Alright, so it said the red permit code is that. Please keep in mind that this code is confidential, so please refrain from sharing it with anyone during your stay. We look forward to seeing you. Have a safe and pleasant journey. The Lodge at Zion Crew. Uh, Mr. Braith, sorry for the inconvenience, but our parking system software hasn't worked properly for some time. To access the lot, just use the code 1705. It's embarrassing to admit, but we're actually unable to change it. Thanks for your understanding. Teresa Morton, manager. Good call. There. Um, looks like this needs a code, too. I think some of the data I picked up might help. Alright, it was 17. Oh, how do I move this? There we go. Oh, I see. 17. Oh. Alright, what is this weird shamrock thing? What is this thing? I'll hold on to it for now. Figure out what to do with it later. Alright, we got two skill points. And a bunch of experience, and a bunch of stuff. New collectible relics from ruins. All right, what is this? Uh, Aloy has found a mysterious relic while exploring ancient ruins. Where did it come from? And are there more out there? So we need to find the origins of the ornament. So we found the ornament. It's, oh, hold on, we got a tool, mountain call. Wait, why is that? Oh, smoke bomb as well. All right, we haven't tried this yet. Smoke bomb. A non-toxic bomb that creates a cloud of smoke to distract enemies and allow a quick escape. Metal shards, machine muscle, and blast paste to make those. Resources, we've got... Stick paste. A thick, sticky goo that is processed by machines and can be repurposed for defensive measures. Obtained from machines that use adhesive weapons or have intact adhesive sacks. 
It's for adhesive ammunition that can slow enemies. Okay. And then we got this ornament, the Daunt, a mysterious relic that resembles some kind of ornament. So, no clue on how to do that quest they gave me. So, we've got skill points. Where the heck are we using them? Oh, by the way, update on the poll that's going on right now. Uh, Ghostwire Tokyo has taken the lead. I can't remember how much it was leading by. It was very close still. Ghostwire Tokyo and Gran Turismo are fighting it out. I believe I've got two days left on that vote. So it uh, looks like it's going to come down to the wire on which game will win. And at this point, it seems like it's probably going to be Ghostwire or Gran Turismo. But you never know. You never know. Final Fantasy is not that far out of reach. It could get back into it. Uh, let's see. Machine Master, what do we have as options? Oh, uh, boosted damage. I can't, I don't think there's anything I can override yet. I can override the mounts, but outside of that, I don't think I've got anything there yet. So let's wait on that. Oh, Stealth Tear would actually be useful. So let's go ahead and get this. Deal more tear damage while in stealth, increasing the ability to remove an enemy's armor and parts from machines. We'll grab that. Uh, all weapons have a legendary variant or two, which are rewards for either a certain thing, won't say which, gives what, and collectible completion. Just saying the ruins reward is best. I see. I was going to do it anyway, but good to know. Alright, so we got that stealth tear boost. Uh, we could boost our smoke bomb capacity. I don't know if we're going to be using that much. And low profile, reduce your visibility to enemies. This is probably a good one to have, so let's just pick this up now. And that does give us a new Valor Surge, the Stealth Stalker. Oh, actually, it doesn't. I got to unlock it. I thought this one was automatic, though. Oh. Oh, I thought I had this. I just unlocked it, so I could have it. Oh, no, I do have it. That's for level two. All right, so did I unlock this one at level one? I did. All right, so now I could use Stealth Stalker. Activate a cloaking device based on stalker technology to, de to decrease visibility to enemies. Aiming a weapon or using melee attacks temporarily deactivates the device. Very high visibility reduction. Bonus damage versus unaware targets plus 100%. Oh, wow. So not only does it make you super invisible, but then when you strike, you get double damage. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Well, I still want to try out this one. How do you activate these again? I already forgot. All right, you use in the weapon wheel. Okay. All right, anyways. That's all of our skill points. And this ruins is complete. Although I didn't look in this building over here, did I? What's going on over there? Potentially nothing. How do I get level 2 on those skills? I just spend skill points to level them up. I don't want to mess with him. Not that he's difficult. I just got no reason to. Oh, what's that? Ancient compartment? Interior cargo storage protected by a rusted metal covering can be dislodged by prying... Or projectile impact. All right, let's go see what that is. All right, nothing special. Alrighty, so. Let's see, we never did check out this, so let's head over there. Yeah. Let's go check that out. What is this? Some sort of dock? Grab some rocks. Look at sharp 
Yeah. Nothing here, just a little dock they've got. Alright, anyways, we're going up there. You're on 1080p and it's kind of fuzzy for you too? Uh, weird? Seems fine on my end. Shiny's just letting you know there are enough skill points to completely fill out your tree if you are doing 100% completion. If! What is this if? Anybody else seeing some weird? Oh, you guys are all getting weird? Oh, hmm. I don't know. Weird. What the heck? Maybe it's a, it must be a YouTube issue because it seems like some of you are fine and some of you aren't. Strange. Hold on. Let me, um, let me open up the actual stream just to see how it looks for me. Make sure you get the one but that is, that is strange. I don't know what to say about that. Hold on, just oh, hi. go into my channel really quick. Hey, I'm watching an ad for myself. Look at that. Yeah, it looks fine to me. Fuzzy when I move? Oh, are you guys... You guys talking about... I do like a little bit of motion blur, but if you guys don't like the motion blur, we can kill it. I don't think that's what you're talking about, though. It's been there the whole time. Except for we made it less severe on the first video. But, yeah, I... Whatever is going on with you guys, I don't think it's something I can solve. Because mine looks... Pretty... Good. Oh, actually, I think I see what you guys are saying. Let's see, I'm on HD... Yeah, I'm actually seeing that too. What is that? It's not severe. I see what you guys are talking about though, I think. I don't know. You guys didn't see it before? I didn't change any settings. It might be a YouTube issue that's going on, maybe. I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going. If you guys are talking about the motion blur though, we could potentially turn it off completely, but I I think I saw what you're talking about. Thanks for putting us all back to work, Savior. That's cool that they're all back to work now. I like it when your actions have an effect on the world. As long as Hades doesn't take over the stream again. Hopefully not. I don't know what the heck was going on the other day. What does motion blur even do? It means when you turn, it just blurs things slightly. So like if you turn the camera, it'll blur uh, just a little bit before it refocuses. Makes movement feel a little more... Um, I don't know if realistic's the right word, but it, it makes the movement more pronounced when you're looking around. I know a lot of people really don't like motion blur. I'm half and half on it. I think a lot of games overdo the motion blur, and this game was definitely overdoing it at the beginning, but I put that setting on low and now I kind of like it, but Whatever you guys want. Alright, where was that thing? It was... There? I was picking something up. I thought it was right over here, but maybe not. Alright, what do you do? You do like that? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's right here. Gotta get used to that wall jump. It's brand new. Brand spanking new. I 
can't ever play Doom because I get motion sickness. I didn't play it, but I watched Blueberry play it a little bit. It looked pretty awesome. Alright, we got a weapon vendor here. Hunter. Oh, you can buy charger horns? Yeah. No need, but interesting. Uh, I'll draw the shards from your pockets next time. We got a workbench. I don't need that at the moment. There's our stash. Is that? Yeah, oh, something over here. Oh, and what is this? On Greenshine, academic notes written in precise Karja glyphs. My research regarding the crystals has been more successful than anticipated. I've made significant progress in the quest to learn what Greenshine is and thus where it can be found. Through the process of elimination, I can now state that Greenshine is not formed within rock, but on its surface. The quarry and nearby mine have given me ample evidence to support this conclusion. The notion that greenshine is formed through the application of intense pressure or temperature can therefore be discarded. Additionally, I've gathered sufficient proof to denounce the religious idiocy that greenshine is a gift of the sun, and somehow springs into existence via green twilight flares. Rather, entire clusters of greenshine can be found in locales the sun cannot reach, such as underground caverns. It is therefore safe to assume that sunlight is no factor in its formation. There does appear to be a correlation between greenshine deposits and machine presence, however. The hypothesis that the crystal is formed as a side effect of canister leakage seems even more alluring. The local Osram stone workers seem to agree. They believe greenshine to be a hardened state of blaze, a substance that I must admit has similar visual properties. Next step, devise an experiment whereby I attempt to transform blaze into greenshine through artificial means. Note to self. Acquire fireproof armor before testing begins. Alright, how do I get up there? Can I just climb the wall? No. Hmm. I don't see a grapple point. Maybe I can just double jump it, or wall jump it rather. No, that's not gonna do it. Maybe. No. What if I can get to the cliff above and drop down? Oh, actually, there's something up there. A green shine slab. I don't think we've seen one of those before. All right, how would I get up there? Maybe over there? What is that? You see that over there? What is that? Is that just a log? Yeah, it's just a branch or whatever. All right, there's gotta be something. Let me go around this way. Grapple boost? I don't see a grapple point to boost. Let's see if I can get up this way. Mm, maybe? Let's keep going, see what happens. Oh, crap. Can't see! Yeah, I'm not seeing any way up at all. All right, I don't think it's over here. Well, unless I can go up this way, kind of seems to be a trail. Maybe not a trail, but sort of a path up, but no. 
Well, kind of making progress. Yeah, like what? What is this? Is this a path I could take up? That's a bust. Alrighty. Let me head back this way. I'm missing something around here. Um, maybe there's a mine that takes us up or something. Like over here? Oh, there's a path up. Wow, look at that. Although I took that path up before to fight all those machines, didn't I? Oh, is it possible to pull it down? It might be. But first, let's check out this path. Regardless of if I can grapple that chest down or not, that would not get us to that slab I saw much higher. Oh man, this is thick, I can't see. Oh my god, I'm stuck. <laughs> There we go. Holy crap. Alright. So, that slab was... Where? Down there? No, that's that chest. The slab was much higher. Though I don't see it now. It must be too far away. There must be like a secret cave or something. Hey, Elimination, how's it going? What is that sound I keep hearing? You guys hear that, like, deep rumbling sound every once in a while? Alright. What's that? Moderate supply cash, alright. If that doesn't lead to that slab location, then I don't know what will, because we're drifting pretty far now. Uh, does, does the game control easy? I think so. I think it's got good control. Oh, there's a kind of a path over there, maybe. Let's see if we can get up there. Where was that cash? Yes, there it is. Yeah, we go. Okay, now. More on me. I can send it to my stash. Can I go through here to get to that slab? Not looking like it. Alright, that slab may remain a mystery because I don't know how to get to it. Yeah, I don't I don't see anything. Check the crane at the quarry? Well, the crane doesn't go nearly that high. Like, that thing was up there. There might be a grappling point. Maybe, but we looked around. I didn't see anything. But anyways, let's get the chest and we'll figure it out from there. Oop. Crap. Look where you 
<laughs> I like how they complain about me barreling into them. Uh, no, you can't actually grapple that chest. So I gotta get up there somehow. I, I mean, I'm sure we can. I'm not worried about that. The confusing one is that. Way over there. Look how far away that is. There's a green shine slab. And if we look where I'm facing... Oh, interesting. Well, there's a unknown there. You know what? That might... Oh, I bet you that's another tower with a lens. I bet you it's... I'm picking it up from way over here. Because that's where I'm... Fa well, I'm actually facing kind of over there. But either way, once we get up to that tower, we can probably get that slab. So I think... I think that's what we're seeing. Okay. So... Let's just figure out how to get this... Chest here. I might be able to jump from over here. Maybe. <laughs> and burn myself in the fire. No. Heck, do I get up there? There's a rope there. I don't think I can do anything with that. And I can't quite get the double jump that high. Oh, well, actually, maybe I could. No, she j double jumps that way. No, Aloy, not that way. Yeah. Well, I bet you I could get up on that ridge. Right there? Maybe. Let's see. Uh, almost. Come on, Aloy. Get up there. Get up there, Aloy. Oh, boo. Try dropping off the ledge above. That's one I'm trying right now. I could potentially, this might put the crane into play. I could potentially take the crane over there and go up. And actually, maybe that would get me to the slab. Let's see, how do I get to that? I've seen this thing move before. But it's chilling over there at the moment. I don't know why it stopped moving. Why did you stop? How do I move you? Watch your back out here. Hey, one of you, move the crane. Part five summary, we got a chest at the end. Exactly. Right, what if I shoot it? <laughs> nope. Looks like I might be able to climb up over here. No. Move! Move! The wheel? The wheel crank on of the crane? Where are you guys seeing a wheel? Oh, you mean right here? Oh, I see it now. Nope, nope. Can't. Can't do it. Nah, I can't turn the wheel. I have to come. Wait. Oh, I was gonna. Oh my god. Oh, hold on. Oh, for a second I thought she was cr climbing that rope. I'm like, really? It was there the whole time? Ah, finally. Oh, I thought I almost had it there. There's gotta be an easier way. I don't know why that crane was moving before, and now it's stationary. Why aren't you guys moving the crane anymore? Oh, maybe I could jump to it from over there. I 
maybe. Should we come back to this? You might not have an item which makes parkour and climbing easier. Maybe. Seems like I should be able to get up there. Alright, interesting. I can grapple there, but I can't seem to grapple the other one. Let's see. Yeah. I, I don't understand. That crane was definitely moving before. That's what's bugging me right now. Like, that thing was moving around, and now it's content to just chill. Hey, I thought you'd left by now. <laughs> Never give up. I'm not giving up, but we might be returning later, because I don't think I can get up there right now. The crane slowly moves side to side when you're near. It has not been doing that. Yeah, it's just chilling. It doesn't like me. I think it broke. Well, whatever. We'll come back later. We'll figure this out later. And maybe I will get a, a new toy. Let's go check out this charger site. Can you do anything with those two big weights up top? Not that I'm aware of. I tried to shoot the crane itself. I tried to melee it. I tried to make it angry. It didn't work. Alright. Just a charger site. Nothing special. You could climb up there, but that's just where I was. So, yeah, let's go check out that tower. And maybe that'll be the solution to our problems. Who knows? Some machines nearby. I really got no reason to fight them. Unless they've got some sort of shinies nearby, but I don't think. Well, actually. Oh, what's this? I found a data point. Alright, I do have a reason to fight them, potentially. Or could I just grab the stuff and go? Uh oh. Okay, then. Well, things just got interesting. I could try out my stealth. Bomb. Let's try it. How do you do it again? Oh, that's not stealth bomb. What did I just drink? Ow. Oh, I drank a potion. Where's that stealth bomb? There it is. Smoke bomb. Smoke bomb. Quickly read that. Oh, I got that new collectible. Nice. Uh, data points. Urgent. Supplies needed. Scroll angry glyphs scrawled into tattered pa or tattered parchment. Uh, Barnard, where are the urgent supplies you promised? Or are your words just farts in the wind? Send us the following immediately or else. The extra weapons that we had to leave behind at our last camp. You better not have sold them. We can't keep hunting machines with sticks and worn hammers. Scrapper sap times six barrels, if you can get them. Forge froth times 12 barrels, cheap, so don't whine. Jiren's tears, two barrels. Rusty hammer, five barrels. Crooked all, or crooked a letterman? I don't know what that is. Three barrels. Delver's ruin, three barrels. Some tankards, pickaxes, those forge bricks, and three boxes of nails. We need this stuff, so no more tooling around. Do what you promised, or we'll be coming back to scrap your forge. All 
All right, actually, got away with that. Oh, I got. Oh, I get valor now when I kill. Yep. Cool. So I yeah, smoke bomb works great. Got me out of that pinch. Oh wait, what's that? Oh, that's the yeah. All right. We're out. <laughs> Hi, DN. Glad you're happy about the reading. <laughs> and welcome to the stream. Good to have you. I should be able to pull that thing out of the wall. Pull that thing out of the wall? What's she talking about? Ooh, check out that waterfall. Is it just me or does this one seem more free roaming than the last one? Or is it just because this one is being streamed instead of a walkthrough? I think it's just because it's being streamed. I don't feel like this one's had more side things than the other. Or than the previous, rather. Who's Maleev? Oh, is that that quest? Yeah. We got a quest over there. We'll go check that out. There are goodies in the bottom of that lake. Some chests. Are right, you guys ready for this stealth shot? <laughs> Look at it playing around. That's hilarious. Right. I'm ready. Turn this way. And boom! Took him down. All right, before we go loot him, though, I'll go talk to this dude. Marin Light. The last part of the Sundom before the Forbidden West. some help with that body hey what happened here what do what do you care don't you as it happens no you know I was already having a crappy day and now these these two idiots picked my shift to climb the damn mountain wouldn't be so bad if this one weren't so heavy wait two idiots did I stutter yeah two I heard another one shouting up top Sounds like they got caught between sharp claws and a sharper fall. Someone's in trouble. Uh, aren't you gonna do something? <laughs> Self-inflicted. And I got my hands full with this one. You're seriously not going to help. You seriously are? <sighs> Someone's in trouble at the top of the cliff. I better get to climbing. Signals of the sun while they're up at the, uh, the tower. No need to rush, they'll be fine. An Osram needs help to fend off a machine attack near an old Karja watchtower. Make that active. Like I said, she'll be fine. I gotta get these shinies first. I think I killed the only machine over here. Oh, what's this back here? Oh, never mind, it's up there. Just a grapple point. I'm gonna see my stash later. <laughs> this dude's got issues, yeah. He's a grumpy one. And he's not very strong. He's having troubles dragging a single body. I 
I mean, I'm not exactly strong, and I could easily do that. Not that I've tested it. I don't, I don't go dragging around bodies for fun. First, you gotta find a body. It's a big pain in the butt. Or you gotta make one. <laughs> and then you gotta drag it around. It's too much work. Alright, I think they got it all. Yeah. We got all the important stuff. We could climb over there, but no reason. What is that? Generous supply cache. Hmm. Don't see an easy way over there. I think we're gonna have to drop down. <laughs> I'm throwing off those serial killer vibes, that's right. <laughs> Making one is easier than finding one, just saying. <laughs> uh, wait a minute. Oh, I'm gonna have to go over... Oh, I bet you I climb up there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Went the wrong way. going up here. Oh, was that a raccoon? Oh, no. That was a boar. I don't know why. I heard the noise. I thought the boar was elsewhere and the raccoon was nearby, but nope, it was a boar and I can't distinguish between a boar and a raccoon, apparently. Okay. Now this should lead me to that one cache. Looks like it does. Come on, Aloy. What's, what's going on? Why are you stuck? Hello? Uh-oh. She ain't moving. Maybe if I go back. Go back, and then back again. Alright, you good now? Aloy? What's going on? She's not moving. Aloy! C come on! I could potentially let go, but that could go badly. Actually, can I climb up over there? Yeah, for some reason she will not move from this spot, so let me try dropping. Okay, yeah, that, that fixed her. There we go. Yeah, I could have climbed up over here. I didn't know that. Oh, and actually. like I'm on the right track. Better hurry. Oh, I thought I was going off course. this my stash later. Turns out it was the correct way. Yeah, something about the highlighting on the yellow here looks terrible. It was way too bright, like neon lights. Alright, where's she at? Looks like, yeah. She's stuck up there. Oh, it's another one of those. Oh crap, it's on me. 
Shut him up! No! Oh, that was a terrible shot. Got him. Hey, level up. Level nine. Drop down. One skill point, ten more max health. Alright, what are we doing to these? What are we doing? And are they special in any way? They're just regulars. Uh oh. Alright, I'm just gonna go for it. Hi! Actually got away with that. Well now it's gonna be easy. Oh crap, that's not stealth! That's the opposite of stealth! What are you doing, Aloy? Him. He lost sight of me. Oh no, he didn't. No matter, cause eat this. You got it. You did it. You got them all. Easy. Here, I thought there'd be a challenge. My definition of stealth is fire and RPG. I mean, that's the best stealth. I just don't have an RPG, and that's the issue. If I did, they would have already gotten the stealth treatment. Hello. Are you injured? Your brother died. Or your friend. Are you hurt? Oh, I live. My so-called bodyguard. You see him on your way up? It was uh, hard to miss him. He's dead. Oh. Guess that's what I get for believing in the first chuff in the tavern who said he was a, a mountain climbing machine hunter. Oh, at least I don't have to pay him now. What are you doing up here? That used to be a signal tower. The mechanism uses a special lens which, in some very specific circles, is highly valuable. And since the Karja are planning on tearing them down, I was going to... liberate the lens before it got destroyed. You get it for me, and the lenses from the other towers. I'll make it very worth your while. Well, we figured out who wants the lenses. Signal towers? You said that was a signal tower. In its day, it was a sight to see. All six of them all lit up all around the dawns. They used to warn folks that the Tanax are coming, for whatever that was worth. As you can imagine, the car just spared no expense putting them together. Hence the fancy lenses in need of a new home before the towers are torn down. So you're a thief. So you're a thief. I'm more what you'd call an opportunist with a good eye for business. Look, the Karja are gonna tear all these towers down anyway. They see no value here. They're trying to make nice with the Tanakh now. See? It's a victimless crime. A uh, opportunity. Tell that to your friend down there. <sighs> Self-inflicted. <laughs> She's so worried about him. Why can't you do it? Why can't you do it? Look, even if I hadn't hurt my ankle here, I'm clearly nowhere near as capable as you. 
Oh, come on. I, I can't just let the lenses go to waste. That's not what my father would have wanted. <laughs> okay. Your father? Your father. Is he a thief? Sorry. Opportunist, too? No. He helped design the towers. Before he passed on. So that's how you know about the lenses. Yeah. And why they have sentimental value. I'll see what I can find. I already found some, actually. Well, look at that! Looks like you're quite the opportunist too, eh? Let me take these off your hands, then. This should be a nice reward for your efforts. I'm an honest merchant, after all. Thank you. Aloy. Reyna. Well, Aloy, as soon as I'm up for it, I'll be going back to Baron Light to rest this ankle. But I'll stick around in case you want to get me that lens of this tower here. No pressure. Just saying. Promise it'll be worth it. I'll see what I can do. Alright, what did she give me? 60 metal shards? What? Better be a good reward for all of them, because that is crap. Alright, so our quest is Signals of the Sun. Gather the signal lenses. I believe that was four of them. Let's see. You can smell the yeah, I gave them four, so this will be five, and then there's one more. No lens? Not yet. Oh, well. You know where to find me when you do. Alrighty. Pole caster. Don't forget to use the uh, YouTube poll option if it comes up, for sure. We will definitely do that. Alright, did I miss anything else? I don't think I did. Oh, yes! I oh, wait, no, that's that one thing. That's that thing with the special gear we don't have. Okay, I'm in. Nice. Get this from my stash when I need it. Seven blast paste on that. Oh crap. Ah. Good thing there was Good thing there was a floor there. Oh, what's this? Oh, that was sixteen hundred and one, not sixty. Oh. Uh no. No, it was sixty. Sixteen hundred and one was my total. That's how many I have, total, not how many she gave me. Is this gonna be enough leverage? Oh, crap, wrong button. Is this gonna be enough leverage or do I need to back up more? hard into these uh, pole caster walls now, aren't they? I'm uh, busting up this place. Can I get it through there? Oh. <laughs> okay. I don't think it was supposed to do that. There's the lens. Let's grapple up. Oh god. What the heck? Oh god! <laughs> uh that's not what I wanted. By the way, Lasso, don't forget you have the field umbrella to float. I have no idea what you're talking about. All 
Alright, why did Aloy just miss this last time? Is there another way up? Maybe I can go that way. Let's see, can I make that jump? Oh, hey, there's a uh, valuables back there. There we go. Alright. Oh. I guess that's not what they planned for me to use. Okay. Weird. I don't know if this is what they planned for me to do, but it worked. Oh, there was a hole right here. <laughs> I missed it. One of the signal devices. Should be a lens I can grab for Reyna. Alright, we got the lens of evening. Lens. I can trade it with Reyna the next time I see her. Five out of six. A dome-shaped piece of glass that refracts light recovered from a Karja signal tower north of Baron Light. All right, I want to go back down and get that one supply cache, and then we're out of here. Oh, and actually, I did suspect that that green slab wasn't around here, but it actually looks like it's nowhere near here. So, yeah, that green slab is still a huge mystery. The green... Oh, wow. Yeah, the green slab was, like, up here. And I thought the signal tower was up there, too, but it was actually down here, so, yeah, I don't... I don't know how the heck we're supposed to get up there. We'll have to figure that out later. Alright, what do we got here? Whole bunch of goodies. Oops. Oh no! I wanted to go back to Reyna. Crap. I thought that was just gonna take me down a little bit. Can I get back? Oh, maybe. Oh, yeah, it just took me here. Will this take me back to Raina? No, that's gonna take me all the way down. Alright, hold on. I gotta get back to her. Here we go. So what happened with the last Horizon stream? Was your internet acting up? It actually wasn't. I have no idea. Did you find the lens? Maybe. If you're ready to trade. Ha! Let's deal. Here you go. Isn't that a sight? And here's a little something for your troubles. Now if you find any more of these, make sure to come find me at Baron Light. You got it. See you around. I thought you had a busted ankle. What happened with that? It's magically healed. Alright, that errand is completed, and we got another skill point. Oh, actually, I'm sitting on two skill points. Okay. Well, what do we got in Survivor? I didn't like either of these, but maybe I'll like the stuff we unlock from there. Ooh, medicine capacity. I do want that. I do want that. All right, let's go ahead. We'll get low health defense, so we'll resist more damage if we get critical. I don't think that's really going to come into play ever, but we'll get it. 40% damage reduction when we're below 25, and medicine capacity. Carry more medicinal berries in your medicine pouch, up to 12. Beautiful. All righty. Let's get down. I think that repel is going to be the best way to do it. Is 
Let's see, that rappel was down this way, right? Yeah, there it is. All right, one last check before we go. Let's make sure we didn't miss anything, and we did not. All right, cool. So that is good. Uh, let's see. That was a blo oh, that was that thing again. Oh, there's our last signal tower. Ooh, a hunting ground. Nice. Yeah, let's do that. The hunting grounds in the first game were really what helped me improve my skills. And hopefully they'll do the same here. I saw something. Never mind. <laughs> I can't imagine jumping off the cliff and then putting up an anchor. Yeah. Am I enjoying the game? I myself am playing as well and I'm further ahead, but I always explore because I love to. Yeah, I'm enjoying it quite a bit. I was a big fan of the first game and so far, this just seems like a better version of it. Well, better might be a stretch. I don't want to say better, but uh, more advanced. They've definitely added a lot to the game, and so far I'm liking it. What's this? Shoot nearby environmental traps to unleash their payloads. I don't, I don't know what it's talking about. There must be a trap nearby. Here we are. What's this? Oh, that's my stuff. Thorless. Wait. Oh, this guy makes um, machine strike pieces? Trade with Strike Carver. Interesting. Alright, so let's see. Does it say how many of these I have? Oh, it does. I don't have a charger. Takes the charger circulator and 40 metal shards. Charger strike piece. A small dash type strike piece that has a low cost to use in battle. It can move a moderate distance, has a weak attack power, an average attack range, and low health. Possesses the gallop skill. Oh, I don't have a scrounger either? Alright, well, yeah, I'm gonna buy a scrounger. And I'm also gonna buy a charger. Use my last circulator, but that's fine. We can always get more. Thanks, buddy. Doesn't even talk to me. Just gets right back to work. Let me go ahead and save. Is that you, Red? Haven't saved tonight. Thought you paid us a visit. I'll take care of this. Fearless. So you decided to visit the hunting grounds. Good on you. Isvod here is all kinds of trials, so hot shots like you can put their machine hunting skills to the test. Or as the Tanakh call it, earning your stripes. I thought hunting grounds were Karja. Now the Tanakh have them out west, too. Though if you ask the Karja, Westerners stole the idea from the Sundom. In fact, the Tanakh used this place for a while after they kicked the Karja out of the region. They even left behind some of the special coins they handed out to those who weren't stripes. Look, they're medals, Karja ones, more spoils. I heard you can trade them for gear somewhere in the Tanakh clan lands. Pretty gruesome, I know, then again, so were the Karja during the Red Raids. Come to think of it, if you plan on going west, I could convince Izvod to give you some if you aren't stripes here. Seems like they might be of use to you out there. Thanks. Oh, and if you happen to play Strike, my friend over there has some nifty pieces to trade. You need anything for the trials, come see me. I have some wares I'm sure you'd find handy. Good luck. 
All right. What do you got, Thurless? You need the right gear if you're going hunting. What do you got? Explosive Tripcaster, eh? A weapon of Osram make. It specializes in placing tripwires that trigger an explosion on impact. Well, I don't have many explosion options. And it's only 149 shards. I'll take it. And a rope caster will come in handy, too. I don't need to equip it right now, though. Rope caster, a useful weapon for any machine hunter. This rope caster of Nora design can incapacitate machines by tying them down. Ropes must be shot at full draw in order to penetrate armor. I'll take a rope caster. Why not? And I think I have some stuff to sell, potentially. No, actually I don't. Or resources. Maybe I do. I do. I got some stuff to sell. I still wish there was a sell all junk button. That'd be really useful. Oh, wait. Hold on. Yeah. Valuables to sell. Yeah. Alright, there we go. Back up to 1,674 shards. Thanks for stopping by. Alright, so we picked up that new hunting grounds, the Daunt. The Karja have reopened the hunting grounds south of Chainscrape. There, soldiers and hunters alike can test their skills against machines. Talk to the groundskeeper. You oh, wait, you're not the groundskeeper. Hello, put me to the test. If you're looking for medals prized by the Tanakh, you can earn them here, savior. Oh, I'd like you to have this, if you care to use it. Considering my thanks for getting Thurlis out of trouble. Looks like you gave me a shock bow. Hunting grounds, the Daunt. All Karja soldiers know that the sun sets on the unprepared. These grounds have long readied their hunters to face the fierce machines prowling the western border. From shooting off machine parts to using shock ammo and weapons efficiently, the trials found here will bestow lessons vital to surviving the Forbidden West. Alright, so we have the Tear Trial. Shoot off and loot scrounger power cells. Uh, so for the Grand Quarter Stripes reward, we need to obtain all Quarter Stripes and all trials. Wait, what? Oh, I see. So we want the Grand Full Stripes reward. Obtain all Full Stripes and all trials. So for the Full Stripe, what do we need to do? And what's this Hunting Grounds info? Oh, that. Okay. All right, tear trial, not completed. Shoot off and loot scrounger power cells. Grounds keepers tips. Use your focus to tag a scrounger's power cell and make it easier to spot. Use weapons and ammo that inflict tear damage to remove components. Use the shock warrior bow or a shock trip caster to put a machine in the shocked state and immobilize it. Parts can then be torn off more easily. And resources obtained when looting power cells can be used to craft shock ammo. When a machine dies, you can no longer shoot off its components. So, uh, for full stripes, we need to do this in 1 minute and 30 seconds. Uh, before we go, though, I need the shock bow. Remain vigilant. So let me go ahead and equip that in a second. The shock warrior bow. This fast-firing, short-range bow delivers powerful shock payloads. It is useful for stunning targets and completing Izvod's hunting grounds trial. All right. We'll give it a go. We'll replace the trip caster. Is that the trip caster? Where's the trip caster? Oh, I guess I already did. Well, I didn't like the spike thrower, so we'll get rid of that. And then we might as well try the explosive trip caster at some point. So, for the time being, I'll drop the fire hunter bow. And that should be good. Oh, and the rope caster would potentially be useful as well. Well, we'll wait on that. Travel, savior. Yeah, I, I really feel like I need more weapon slots. They have so many. Even the savior of Meridian can use some punching practice once in a while. Alright, so let's give this a go. Oh, actually, before... Sorry. Before I go, I think my best tear weapon is currently my regular bow. My, um... Uh, uh, what's it called? My hunter bow. 
It's got 43 tear. Yeah. My hunter bow is the way to go. Well, the warrior bow has a lot of tear, but that's the one you uh, shoot fast. I don't know if that's necessarily what I want here. So yeah, I, th I think return. we'll use the warrior bow. You won't find trials like these anywhere else. I didn't buy the rope caster. What? Until you return, savior. You sure about that? Something, friend. Thought I did. Oh, you are completely correct. Or yeah, yeah. I thought I did. Oh, I have to buy and equip. All right. It's because I didn't equip it. That's weird. Uh, well, we'll temporarily replace the sharp shot bow, I guess. Thanks for stopping by. Weird. Even the savior of Meridian can use some hunting practice once in a while. Rope casters are. Are. <laughs> Where'd it go? Until you return, savior. Rope casters are ideal for tying machines down. Tap R2 while aiming to fire a rope. Attach enough ropes to a machine and it will become tied down, preventing it from moving for a long period of time. Ropes must be shot at full draw in order to attach to armor. Savior. I hold these hunting grounds to the highest card you stand. Alright, one minute, 30 seconds on the clock. Everything's set up. Just use the rope to jump in. Exploring cargoes might teach me how to override these things. Come on here, yeah. hunt your bow, give me some more ammo. Right, the power cells. That, right? I think that's the power cell. Let's find out. Nope, that was not the power cell. Crap. Oh, wait. From scroungers? Alright, I think the power cell's in the back. Well, we're clearly not getting the minute 30. At least I don't think we are. Well, maybe we are. Let's find out. We'll grab that. Alright, we got one. Ow. Ow. Not bad shot. done. Did I get it? I couldn't see the time. Oh crap, we're still going. Get me out of here. I think I did it in a minute 30, but I'm not sure. This is your savior. There we go. Full stripes, 59 seconds. Beautiful. So we got four hunting medals, we got 20 metal shards, and a small machine core. Oh, oh, I see. This is for each one. Cool, got all that. And, ooh, medium machine core. Nice. All right, continue. All right, next we have the shock trial. Shock machines near a scrounger by overloading its power cell with shock ammo. Seems easy enough. Uh, groundskeeper's tips. Hitting a power cell with shock ammo will cause a delayed explosion that will shock any machines in range. Use the shock warrior bow to hit a scrounger's power cell and overload it near other machines. Use shock ammo on a machine to build up to the shocked state and immobilize it. Parts can then be torn off more easily. Well, I'm not trying to tear off parts. So three minutes, I just have to shock machines once? That seems very easy. Everything's set up. Just use the ropes to jump in. All right, let's see how this goes. All right, over here. Over here. Hello. Alright, I'll bring it to you then. What? 
Man, they are... Don't even have to be near me, it seems. Hey, jerk! Where'd you come from? Alright, here we go. Got it. Boom! No sweat. No sweat. You did well. Not that I expected any less. Now, claim your reward. Your reward, savior. Alright, give me my goodies. Good, good, good. Scrounge your spark coil and a medium machine core. Alright, then we have the shock and trap trial. Use environmental traps set up in the grounds to kill machines in the shocked state. Uh, groundskeeper's tips. Use your focus to spot the traps set up within the grounds. Use shock ammo on a machine, or using shock ammo on a machine will build it up to the shocked state. While in that state, the machine will not move. Use the shock warrior bow or a shock trip caster to shock machines beneath the trap, then trigger the trap by shooting it. Use what you have learned in the previous trials to help you succeed. So it seems like I need to shock the enemy near a trap and then explode the trap? Or is it a shock trap and it's just telling me how I can also shock? I'm not entirely sure. Everything's set up. Just use the rope to jump in. Shocked machines killed with environmental. Yeah, I gotta shock them and then blow up the traps. All right. Let's see how this goes. This seems a little trickier than the previous ones. Where are these traps? Where are these traps? Help me out, focus. Where are the traps? Oh, it means like these traps. I see. Oh, well, in that case, I actually want the trip caster. I actually want the trip caster for once. Where is it? Oh, that's the explosive one. Where's the shock one? There we go. Let's go ahead and replace the rope caster. Well, I guess I could blow up their back four thing. Ow. Rude. Ow. I got that. Nice, just got two. Oh, I only got one? Oh crap, I'm out of medicinal berries. That's not good. I need a heal. And I got a heal. Alright, oh, we got him under there. Ah, missed. Dang it, moved on me. Ow. Ow, God. Heal me up. Look at me, look at me, look at me! There we go. All right, that's two. That's two. I need one more environmental hazard. What do we got, what do we got? Over here, over here, over here. Ow! Heal up. All right, come on. Running out of time. Over here. Come on. Right here. Right there. Got it. And shoot it. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Oh, you stupid tree. I hate you. Oh, you ruined it. Crap. All right, hold on. Over here. That stupid tree had to be there. 47 seconds. We can still do it. We can still do it. Hi, guys. How's it going? Hope you're all well. Get away from me! Right here. Oh, I oh I trapped it myself. I'm stupid. I, for some reason, was thinking I would be immune to my own trap. Oh, oh, but that's okay. I got this dude. 
Oh, no, I took his core off already. Crap. Got him. Oh, he's not shocked. Come on. Shock him. Shock him. He's almost there. Yes. Where's the thing I shoot? There we go. And got it. Was it in time? I don't know if it was in time. Give me that. I need that. I didn't see. Did I pull it off? I was probably a little slow. You defeated the challenge. I'm impressed. Yeah, but I do it fast enough. A reward well earned. Full stripes. I did it with one second to spare. That's how you do it. First try on all three. Ooh, 15 charger circulators. Wow. Oh, two skill points. Nice. Got a new weave. Wow, it gave me all kinds of crap. Look at all this. Beautiful. All right. All three challenges complete. It's never too late to practice your skills. Obtain three stripes at a hunting ground. Beautiful. Alright. Oh, got a new die. Alright, so how the heck do I use these dies? I keep unlocking dies. Do I just not have that yet? I might not have that yet, because I keep getting dies and I've not figured out how to use them. What's this? Shock light arrows, a lightweight. Highly charged arrow used by certain warrior bows. It can be fired at close range to shock enemies. Metal shards, ridge wood, and sparkers. Pretty easy to make. Resources. We picked up a charger horn. And a scrounger spark coil. For upgrading and selling. Strike pieces. We got the charger strike piece and the scrounger strike piece. And special gear. We got 75 hunting medals taken from Karja Kestrels during the Red Raids. These medals signify completion of a hunting grounds trial. <laughs> there was 0.258 seconds remaining. You watch the replay. That's all I need. Why is he still showing as a... Oh, I need to talk to him again? Why? I hold these hunting grounds to the highest Karja standards. Uh... But that should be done. All right. Until you return. I don't know why that's still showing as being active, but yeah. Hi, hey, Shinies. I don't know if you've realized this yet or not, but the game put machine hearts and some other crafting materials into for sale category. I think you sold some already in the early episodes. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've been selling everything that has no use other than being sold. I do have three skill points now. Why don't we keep looking in Survivor? The triple shredder. Oh, that's what that thing I don't have yet. All right, let's see. Valor on impact. Gain valor when hit by enemies. Oh, that seems like a good thing to have. Yeah. Yeah, let's pick this up. Potion proficiency. Health potions provide more healing and all potions are fast. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Give me that. That'll give me another valor surge. Toughened. Consume a special potion to restore health and gain resistance to status effects. So you get health regen every two seconds of 50? That's a lot. Melee damage resistance of 25% and crushed resistance of plus 30%. That seems pretty good. All right, I got one more skill point to use. Uh, let's look in the range tree. What's this? Stamina regen, recover weapon stamina faster. I don't know what that does yet. Resilient trapper. Take less damage when triggering your own trapper tripwire. <laughs> Maybe I should get this after what just happened. Uh, I actually want to get trap limit, though. I think. Hmm. I don't know. Energized duration. Wait, what's this? Targets remain energized longer? I don't care about that. Critical strike. Oh! Oh! Critical Strike deals more damage. Huh? I didn't have this? Huh. I didn't have this. Alright, I'm gonna take this. I definitely want that. 
Boom. Beautiful. Alright, cool. We got some new skills that are going to come in handy for sure. Alright, well, we got that signal tower up there. And I haven't looked around here. I don't think there's anything, but I do need to... Oh, wait. Have I been here? Oh, no, that's the training grounds. Never mind, I have been there. Yeah, that whole area is the training grounds and that. I guess I haven't been over here. Let me just take a quick look over there. And that'll give me a chance to restock some medicinal berries anyway. Oh, and I think if I... It said if I hold up on the D-pad, I can get from the stock? Yeah, I think I just did, actually. Or from the stash, rather. some more berries sound like a oh what is that squirrel squirrel where'd he go oh wow he's taken off all right never mind never mind oh there's something over there oh god it's a fire fang horn you know what I want revenge I got killed by these dudes multiple times last stream. Oh, crap. I want some revenge. I want some revenge. Ooh, look at that better stealth coming in handy already. I made that easy. Take down. Is that what I saw? No. Where was the uh, special thing I was picking up? I picking up before because it doesn't seem to be here anymore I still want that fire fang one I'm gonna show him who's boss oh, I think he took off did he like have something on him I'm so confused You all saw that, right? There was a special thing, and now it's gone. Along with that fire fang horn. Oh, uh, maybe it was the scrounger pile? I wonder if it bugged out. Didn't realize I'd done it before. Yeah, I think it screwed up and thought I didn't have it. That is one thing I'm enjoying. It's actually not repopulating the stuff I looted. I appreciate that. It makes it feel much better. Okay, well I guess we're gonna go do that signal tower and then after that we've got a side quest but then I've kind of done it all here except for the things I can't do yet. Those weird things that I that are blocking paths. We've got a couple flowers. I forget where they were. I think there was one flower here and another maybe like over here? And then we got the sunken caverns, one there and one uh, there. Yeah. Cool. All right, we're figuring it out. All right, so there's the signal tower. Can we go up this way? Maybe. 
Oh no, this, this looks like the way you get down. Oh, hello. Sorry, buddy. I gotta get upgrades, though. This away for later. I should make some some more health potions. What's it take again? Oh, actually. So if I wild meat and berry. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. I thought it acquired more. All right, whatever. Oh, a blue jay. Nah, too late. <laughs> Poor raccoon. Yeah. Alright, fire fang horns, that's nasty. That's not something I want to deal with. Unless there's something down there. Oh, there is something over there. Holy crap, that is loud. Oh my god. Why is that so loud? I kind of want to kill him just to shut him up. Uh-oh. Well, we might be killing him after all. Are right, you guys ready for this? This awesome stealth attack? Let me heal up. Oh, no! Oh, you stupid... I thought... The rock popped up, and I thought it was telling me I could stealth attack. Wait, they're running. Okay. <laughs> My reputation precedes me. Well, good, that shut them up. My god, that was loud. Oh, hi. What are you doing? I see you there. Ah, oh, man, missed that eyeball over and over again. Oh crap! Oh, out of nowhere. Wait, where'd you guys come from? Ow! Alright, where is that? There it is. Got him. Oh my god! Why aren't you doing critical strike? What the heck? There we go. Oh, that is a like critical strike, and what a jerk. <laughs> Got him. Alright, I don't know where they all came from. Maybe the fire fangs ran off and told them I was here. I don't know.
Alright, that awful noise is still happening. I don't know what is causing that. Oof. That noise. Brutal. Like that. All right, can I pry this open? I don't need to. Ooh, what's that? just want to get away from the noise. That's my goal. Oh, it's probably these thing horns. Oh, it's horrific. That sound. Alright, there seems to be no reason for me to fight them, so I'm not going to unless they have a cache or something nearby. What's all this up here? Alright, so that seems to lead to something. I'm gonna go check out what this is. That's another raccoon. These poor raccoons. I'm, I'm on the genocide of these raccoons. Squirrel, tag him. Camp. Found the perfect hunting grounds, apparently. Okay, there is something up there. Question is, can we climb up? The answer looks like no. It's got a rappel down point. How do I get up there? That won't get me all the way. Oh, maybe up there. Uh, no, even that's not gonna get me all the way, I don't think. There might be a cave there, though. Yeah, I don't think that's quite gonna get me there. And it's not a cave. Oh, what the heck was that? Oh, that was a little funky. Huh. How do I get up there? Can I get up there? I'm gonna jump into the water. Swan dive! Oh, you didn't do the dive! What the heck? Alright, that must be something for later, because I don't think I can get up there. I can go that way. Uh, even that seems like a dead end. I'm thinking this might be for later. Wall jump? Oh, I can't wall jump that high. <laughs> That's like 20 feet, dude. There's no way. Oh, what's this?
something purpley. Apex Wide Maw Heart? I haven't seen that before. A Wide Maw. And an Apex Bristleback Heart. Hmm. Does it sound echoey to me? Uh. A little. I mean, it, it makes sense though. We're in a big canyon. The sound seems fine to me right now when it was doing that god awful machine. Uh, I don't even know what to call it. Like digging sound. That was horrible. I'm pretty sure it was those fire things. Oh. Yeah, this. That is awful. And the echoing is just making it worse. Yeah, I don't know what they were thinking with this noise, because it's bad. Oh god, it's so grating. Alright, well luckily we don't have to be over there. Okay, so this should lead me to the tower, no? Oh, well, I gotta go over here, actually. What if I reload the game? I don't think the game's malfunctioning. I think they just didn't consider how terrible that sound is, because it's just that. Everything else sounds fine. It <laughs> feels amazing, man. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Hmm. What's back here? It's not as noisy as a railroad. Well, typically the goal is to make the game sounds enjoyable, which they have been, minus that. Another squirrel meets his demise. Be sure to scan all machines. Even if you think you already have them, if you go into your inventory, you'll notice under machines they have variations of each machine. Yep. Yep, we've seen. But thank you for the tip. Looks like this camp was abandoned a while ago. Now we're getting all sorts of supplies. Signal tower. Might be a lens I can grab for Raina at the top. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how shooting a raccoon in the tail kills it, but uh, I'll take it. I will take it. Oh, wait. What is that? Is that a J? Oh, no. No, is it flying off? Oh man, I can't see it. Ah, I should have marked them. Dang it. Missed my opportunity. Alright, where was that shiny at? I don't see it now. It was a shiny. What happened to it? Oh, it's right there. That's the rappel down. This tower doesn't seem to be as uh, difficult to ascend as the previous ones.
Oh. None of that, Aloy. None of that. Uh, oh, I see. This tower is barely holding together. One of the signal devices. Should be a lens I can grab for Reyna. All right, we have our sixth lens. The lens of twilight. Okay, I think that's the last lens. I should trade with Reyna the next time I'm in Baron Light. Our final lens piece, the lens of twilight. All right, did I miss anything while I was up here? I don't think I did. I don't see anything. Nope, I think we're good. Well, at least she doesn't grab the zipline ropes with her bare hands. Like she does on the repels. Because that would definitely destroy her hands. Alrighty. So, I don't know what that quest is, but I do want to mark the... Where is it? Where's the one... Or the lens lady. Is that a relic one? Oh, it's a collectible one. I think. No? No? I'm confused. Oh, actually, I don't think it's part of a quest. I think I just give it to her. Alright, well, we've never been to Baron Light. Let's go check it out. How far am I? Maybe we'll use my mount. Oh, interesting. I wonder. Well, I didn't check that path. We'll do that later. I'm far enough. I can. Oh, no. I... No, I wanted to call my mount, not use that. Okay. Wait. Is there something there? No. Let's go. Good enough. Ooh, fancy dismount. We made it. All right, I should find whoever's in charge here. But first, I could resupply at my stash. Might be worth taking a look around too. Can we have a word? Sure. Kerof? Ah, savior. <laughs> Tell me, are you seeking passage into no man's land by any chance? Maybe. Why do you ask? Ah, well, to hammer it plain, there's treasure out west. Unclaimed scrap and ancient metal. And I've got a sturdy band of salvagers that knows the lay of the land. You're not afraid of the Tanakh? <laughs> Terrified. But I carry out most of my business in no man's land. A neutral territory and all that. Baron Light is our port of entry. When its doors aren't closed for an embassy... <laughs> I was hoping your arrival meant they might be opening soon. I've got a business to run, after all. I want that embassy to happen as much as you do. Believe me, I'm working on it. <laughs> Good to know. And uh, keep us in mind. 
If you do manage to open the way, our main camp will be just past Baron Light. We'll buy any scrap you've got on you. And if you're looking for machine parts, we've got the best in the West. Guaranteed. All right. Maybe later then. Uh, if you can get those blasted gates open. <laughs> I guess I'm not the only one who wants to get those gates open. Now right, we got a new activity, which is a new category of thing. Salvage contracts, Karif's Salvage Unlimited. A group of Osram has set up a salvage operation in the Forbidden West. Their camp is a must stop for discerning hunters looking to trade. Get 5,000 experience for this in uh, Osram Artificer look. Salvaging needs keep my crew. Don't mind me, just waiting for the gates to open. One day. Oh, there's Rana. Oh, we got a machine strike player. Go ahead and save. All right. Did I see her? There she is. Hi, Reyna. Is that what I think it is? Now you've got all your lenses. My pops would be sad they're tearing down those towers. But he'd be happy these lenses were spared. Many thanks to you, Aloy. Oh, here. What I owe you. Now, this has truly been a profitable endeavor for the both of us. So, what are you gonna do next? I'm taking these back to the claim. Ankles all better, and I miss the stench of soot in the air. Let's hope you don't find any more opportunities on your way there. <laughs> no promises. Good luck, Aloy. Alright, a new die, some metal shards, a bronze ingot, and two green shine slivers. Seems pretty mediocre, to be honest. Machine strike! No one wants to play some strike? Anyone? Yeah, I'm down. This ought to be fun. Alright, first board, beginner strike player. Uh, it looks like we get a charger strike piece. I don't really care too much about that, but I still want to beat him. All right, first board. Create a new set. Oh, I have saved sets. You can use at least seven setup points to play this set in a game. All right, let me create a new set, and I gotta figure out how to save it. All right, so the uh, what was it? The gunner type that I have was pretty good. I don't know if I have that anymore. That might have been for that specific board. I might not actually own that. All right, well, anyways, uh, let's see. Bristlebacks seem pretty good. At the start of each turn, all pieces within attack range lose one health. I like that. And it's a ram type. Moves three spaces. Yeah, let's use a bristleback. Uh... I do like the ramming types. They seem handy. I don't remember what dash does again. Oh, dash goes through multiple enemies. Yeah, we should probably have a charger. Oh, the gunner. Yeah, the scrapper was... Yeah, yeah, I actually like these. I actually like these. Um, let's see. We can use two of those. Oh, maybe we don't go crazy with that. Let's remove one. Let's get some variety. This one's good in grassland, and this one has a lot of grassland. So let's get a grazer. And... I guess we'll just go with a... a burrower. 
Actually, these can move three and they have more health. Doesn't have a skill, but seems better in every way. Yeah, let's use a scrounger. Okay. Oh, and I still have more setup points. I see. I could actually do a fang horn if I wanted to, or a lance horn. Let's do a lance horn. All right. Now, how do I save this? Wait, this has set two. Do I already have a save set? Oh, I need to up update those trophies. Hey, kelp, guess what? I have no idea. All right, well, I'm gonna save it and start the challenge and hopefully it saves that board. Here we go. All righty. Uh, let's see. I'll go ahead and set my bristle back first. We'll put him right there. Put that there. He's got a long leg. I don't think I have dealt with those yet. We'll put a scrapper in the back. Hmm. Let's put that there. See, I got a scrounger and a charger. Let's put the charger. Oh, screw it, I'll put him up there. Oh wow, that gets plus three? Oh wow. Why does that get plus three? I don't know, but I'll take it. Alright, and the scrounger can chill. You can chill over here. Your time to shine, friend. All right. Um, we'll move the bristle back up here. Yeah, move him right there. And then our charger. He can chill just a little bit further up. Actually, you know, that's... Hmm. Yeah, let's... Let's put him... Let's put him up there. Okay. I can do this. I left my bristle back a little exposed, but I think that'll be fine. Ow! Rude. I'm done. You are done. Gonna get wrecked. The scrounger can just attack from here, can't he? Or no, the scrounger has to be one unit away. Is that right? Yeah, so that won't help him too much, but he could move there. Actually, he can move right there. Wait, how far can he move? He can move three. Oh, actually, you know what I could do? I could knock him off of there, I think. Yeah, and then move the scrounger. Yeah, okay, so let's do this. I'm gonna move him there. Rotate him and attack. Oh, it's only one? Huh. Okay. It's only one for some reason. Oh, right, he's... Right, he charges through. Oh, but that exposed his weak spot. That's right, he's a dasher. I totally forgot. All right, so if I move over there, he'll get the bonus. All right, screw it. That wasn't exactly what I wanted to do, but it's okay. Wait, still only one? Why? Because he has two defense? I mean, I barely remember how to play. All right, well, whatever. We did something to him. End my turn. Gotta think this through. Alright, he took... Oh, 
Never mind. Thought he took him out. He did not. Oh, my poor Bristleback. He will take one damage just from being near. Nope, he's dead. He's oh, dead. no! <laughs> oh, I got wrecked. Oh, brutal. Okay, well. That's a bad start. That's a real bad start. Let's do this. We'll move him here. Minus one. Why is this thing so strong? All right, knock him off. Or no, dude, this thing sucks. I don't like that thing at all. This long leg is nasty. At the start of each turn, all friendly machines within attack range gain plus one attack power effects can stack. Oof. I don't like it. Alright, well maybe we focus on his little friend right here, the Lanthorn. I will be exposing my- oh wait, but he's a ramming type, right? No, he's a gunner. Okay. That'll be okay then. Well, I think I can take him out. Yeah, so let's just take him out. One down. Time for me to step up. It's not gonna be good. Well, he left himself exposed. Hey, nice. He hurt himself. What will it be? All right, I should be able to finish him off right here. Let's move our guy here. Finish him. Let's get that piece out of there. And then let's see. Grazer type. He's a rammer. He can attack two units. Actually, I could bring him up here. Oh, that's a sprint though. And I'd have to sacrifice him. Or would I? Can I overcharge him to zero health? I don't think I can. Actually, maybe I can. You know what? Time to find out. Or I can move him there and then just do the damage. But that's... Oh, well, it is a weak point. I would like to go up there, though. You know what? I'm going to try it. We'll, we'll learn. So confirm that. We'll overcharge. Yeah. Do it. Sacrifice yourself. All right, three versus three, five points to five points. My turn. Wow, look at that move. That was significant. All right, we got the grazer. If he goes up there, no, no. Oh, actually, but then he could turn. Uh, but he can only attack one space. All right, that's no good. A charger, however. We could potentially move him up there and then have him charge over there. That might... Oh, wait, no. He would have to be here. But he would get a bonus. So if I moved him there and then dashed through, I would be exposing him, though. Which is not great. But it would do... F wait, it would do four damage. Yeah. All right, hold on. Let's have him move there. Rotate him. Wait. Oh, he can only attack. No, he can attack two. What the heck? What's going on here? Oh, I've got to overcharge him, though. Well, that's fine. Because it would kill him, right? Let's overcharge him. Oh, no, it wouldn't kill him at all. Crap. Well... Screw it. I'm committed now. Wait. Why is... Oh, hold on. No, I didn't overcharge him. Why is that not working? If I overcharged it and then I told him to attack there, why isn't he doing it? Maybe I should just say screw it. I should just move there. You know what? do it 
Wait, why can't I? Uh, I don't understand. For some reason, it's not letting me attack with him. So I guess, since I can't get him that way, I'll just do one damage here. It's not great, but it's something, so I'll do it. End the turn. Oh, that's my cue. Oh, that's gonna kill him. Yeah. I win. That's... Oh no, that he won. Oh, dang it! I forgot. I was thinking. I wasn't thinking about getting the points really quick. I should have just overcharged and went for it. Dang it! I keep forgetting. It's not. The goal was not to destroy all of the opponent's pieces. All right. I'm not sold on this bristle back yet. He might not be that good. And the charger's confusing me because he didn't do what I wanted him to do. Put the scrapper in the back. Put the grazer up there. The scrounger's in the back. Lance Horn, you can go here. You return. All right. Wait. Oh crap! Oh, the bristleback hurts his own dudes. I didn't know that. Oh, that's brutal. All right, so my bristleback is killing my own dudes. That's not what I was hoping for. All right, just move him up there away. Move this here. My turn. And that freaking piece is brutal. But he just made a really bad decision with it. Because now I can go over here and whack him. Right? Unless I'm missing something here. No, that's just going to do some massive damage to him. All right, he made a really dumb move. So we're going to nail him there. And then I might just overcharge him. Finish him if that would be enough. No, it wouldn't be enough. Or actually, if I overcharged, can I still move or no? I don't think so. All right, well, that doesn't matter because if I move... Oh, I need two spaces. Dang it. Uh, maybe I move my bristle back over here. Yeah, oh yeah. Heck yeah, get that. Ha. Look at you moving my pieces. All right, and then he should take another damage just by being near and that should finish him off, right? Oh, that's my cue. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> nice. All right, he's probably going to finish that off. Oh no, he's not. It's all you. All right, so my grazer should be able to finish this. I might have to overcharge and kill him. Yeah. That's fine. We'll overcharge. Wait. Oh, it's not let Oh, it doesn't let you. You can't overcharge more than all right, well, I just sent him out for sacrifice. <laughs> uh, we will use our scrapper right here. I'm just going to let the bristleback chill up there. Oh, actually, hold on. Oh, I... No. Okay, I can do this. All right, I really... Did a dumb with my bristle back over there. Ow. You go, buddy. Rude. All right, Grazer, finish this dude off. Off the board you go, buddy. All right, so it's four to four. Let's move our charger onto here. Actually, yeah. All right, it's end the time turn. for me to step up. 
He's going there. That's not going to help him. Oh, that was a dumb move. <laughs> he just left himself completely vulnerable. And yeah, I should just be able to move up there and kill that dude. Yeah. Yeah, he's screwed. He screwed he himself. We've got the lance horn. We'll move him up here. Yeah, he's done. Winner, winner, and chicken dinner. You win. Defeated mach machine strike challengers. Won a match against two different machine strike challengers. Cool. Hundred metal shards for that. All right, let's go to the second board. Set two. You must have at least seven setup points to play this set in a game. Weird. I seem to have a saved set that I can't use. Which is weird. Either way, it saved this set, so this is what I'm using. Let's start. Alright, so I do actually like the bristleback. He seems like a kamikaze unit you just kinda send in. So, we definitely want him to be out in front, like over here. So, I didn't like him at first, but I, I, I'm i warmed up to him. Let's put our scrapper there. Uh, let's see. Grazer can chill up here. Charger, we'll put him there. Another scrounger. I like them in the back. And a lance horn. Let's put him over here. Hmm. Gotta think this through. All right, so we want that bristle back. Hey, 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 hey. What'll it be? All right, so he took one damage just by being near my bristle back, which is cool. Can I move up there? I'd have to sprint. I can go there. He doesn't do a lot of damage, but he does damage twice, which is pretty nifty. Oh, he's got a bristle back. I didn't see that. All right, well, anyways, let me go ahead and finish this dude off. Oh, wait, that's not even going to remotely finish him off. What am I talking about? It will knock him off there, though. And there it goes. And I just took damage for some reason. Why did I take damage? All right, if I move him up there, he gets plus four. Man, those things are such a pain to take down. If I move the sc scrapper... Oh, he'd actually do two damage right there. As opposed to this one, which needs to move, and then it still only does two damage, right? Or no, he'll have four attack against one. Oh, no, no, this is much better. All right, move that then. I should probably overcharge and get rid of him. Let's do that. Oh, hold on. Oh, nah. He's facing the wrong way. Overcharge wouldn't help. Really? If I overcharge, I can't turn? That seems silly. That seems silly. I don't quite understand the overcharge. I guess it's time to find out. If I overcharge now, I should be able to attack him, right? Yeah. Minus two. Or no, is that minus two to me? Or to both of us? No, it won't let me go there. Wait, do I have to overcharge twice? To move and then to attack? Ugh, all right, let me I can't even move there If I move there it doesn't do anything Screw it. I'm gonna try it so do that and then rotate and attack. Nope. It's freaking useless. Why? I Hate My I turn. hate overcharge. It's dumb <laughs> It never works. They seem to be able to do like five billion actions when they overcharge But when I overcharge it does like nothing Right, he's got his bristle back in. That's not great. Looks like he's I got this game wreaking, wreaking havoc on my pieces. Alright, well, I'm gonna bring my 
Grazer dude up there and then finish him off. One down. And then uh we'll just Let's move this dude here. Or no, I'm gonna keep him on a good spot. Uh, I can't. Alright, whatever. Move him here. Rotate and Oh no! I thought he was a scrapper. Oh my god. I suck. So now if I overcharge. See, it's pointless. Ugh, whatever. Gotta think this through. They did the worst job at explaining overcharge. The absolute worst job. Alright, I'm gonna move him here. An attack. Let's get that piece out of there. And let's see, my grazer could go behind him. Oh no, that'd be a sprint. That wouldn't help me. All right, the smart move here is just to bail. Er, yeah. If I bail up, no. What is the smart move here? That piece can move three units, so he could move right there. That'd be bad. Guess we should do damage while we can. Negative three. Dang it! It's almost enough, but not quite. Screw it. Overcharge and kill him. Ah, oh, but if I over... Then he's gonna come in and kill him for the win. Oh, what to do, what to do. It's not enough. It's going to get me to six points. He will absolutely... Oh, and Plowhorn can... Oh, wait, no. Hold on. Hold on. I think I'm actually safe. I can finish him off. Machine down. And he can't get to me. I don't think. Oh, that's my cue. All right, we have a chance. We have a chance. First things first, we put him, well, maybe not first things first. Let's see, our scrounger does two damage. Our scrap, I think we lean on the scrapper here. It could move there, no, that doesn't help me. All right, I think the smart thing here is retreat. So retreat him back there, rotate him that way, and then our scrounger dude, we're going to retreat him over here. Okay. Okay, I can do this. There's hope. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. If I put my grazer up there. I sprint him. Now, will it let me overcharge with one health? I don't know. It's been really inconsistent. But if I overcharge it... Oh, he's got three defense, though. He's got three defense. I don't think I can mess with that. Crap. All right, what do we, what do we got here? We can move him there, overcharge him. He'd have five attack. He'd be just short. He wouldn't quite be able to finish it. And if we went with the scrapper and we put him there, he could overcharge and attack, but that wouldn't do a whole lot either. And this dude is just screwed. If I could overcharge twice, I could get this to work. Alternatively, I could try to go for his grazer. I don't think that's going to afford me much. Although, I do get defense for coming up here. If he couldn't get through my defense... Oh, no, but I'd sacrifice myself. Oh boy. I think I'm screwed. I think I'm screwed. He can move two units. 
Well, they'll have to overcharge to get to me. Maybe it'll be okay. My scrapper's the only one I can really have, like, enter the fray and not die. So maybe we just move the scrapper here and try to make him a target. Maybe they'll be stupid. Let's see if they'll be stupid. I'll bring my scrapper in and just, like, let him chill. I'm gonna put him right here. Okay. And then... My scrounger will protect his backside. Uh, actually, that's a bad idea. Let's just put him... Well... Yeah, I'm just gonna retreat him a little bit. Alright, enter. It's time for me to step up. Alright, so he's gonna go for that. He's not gonna be able to finish the job. Oh! Oh! Did they do a dumb? Did they do a dumb? If I go up there, I get four attack. Oh yeah, he's done. He is done. Winner! Well played, friend. Enjoy your victory. Just had to let him make the mistake. All right, third board. Let us do battle. All right, once again, put the bristle back in a spot. Actually, you know what? Let's deploy the bristle back last because I want him to be the, the kamikaze that runs in. So let's put our lanthorn there. Let's put our charger on the grassland over here. Some scrappers in the back again. I'm liking them as support pieces. The grazer can be there. Scrounger. I don't really know how to use this one effectively yet. He's got a lot of health though. He'll just be a frontline dude. All right. So my bristle back would be best deployed here, I think. I'm done. Oh, right, I keep hurting my own dudes. Ah! I keep forgetting about that. Alright, so maybe we just move him up there. I could sprint him over there, but that wouldn't do me much good. Um. Let's just put him right here. Put him right there. We'll move this piece up just one spot. It's time for me to step up. All right, so he only did two damage. No big deal. Oh, well, Possible he overcharged. Go, buddy. That's all right, though. He had to sacrifice a lot of health to do that, so. That seems good for me, because then I can just go right here and take that piece out. Let's get that piece out of there. And now he's in a pretty good spot. Not too worried about him. And then he left this dude wide open. So if I go up there, he's going to get a three bonus. Yeah, that's just going to straight up kill him. It will leave this piece vulnerable, but that's fine. I'm totally fine with that. And there it goes. All right. Great start. Ow. Okay, so he's got pretty good position there. Oh. One down. Well, he went super aggressive with that piece, and that was not a smart idea, in my opinion. Because that's just going to leave him wide open for something. Maybe we bring my scrapper over here. Yeah, he screwed. Oh, I got to sprint for that, though. I don't want to do that. Or do I? Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Er, it would only be two damage to him. I don't know. Nah, we'll just have both of these pieces attack. We don't need to like that. That dude screwed. He's just done. Although, actually, you know what? 
I think if I was to sprint there, then if I can overcharge, I could do a lot of damage to him. So let's actually do that. Or not. Now he can't overcharge. Well, he's dead anyway. Alright, well, that wasn't exactly what I wanted to do, but it's okay. So if I sprint him here, and then I rotate him, and then I overcharge him, then he can kill this one. Off the board you go, buddy. Alright. In turn. So that piece is screwed. Think it's through. That piece is screwed. It's all you. Alright. He's got two. He's got a wide maw and a long He's got two really strong pieces out there. So I'm not super excited about that. If he kills any of my pieces, it's over. Does he have the attack power to do that? He absolutely does with the wide maw. So I want to avoid that wide maw at all costs. Oh, he left himself open in the back. I didn't even notice that. Ah, it's only one though. Right, that doesn't help me too much. The grazer, however, no, he sucks too. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna retreat a little bit. Well, do we have to? He doesn't do much damage. We just gotta keep him in a place where he can't do much damage. He needs to be on the mountaintops to really hurt me. So if I take these two spots, he doesn't have much to work with. So let's go ahead and do just that. So I will put my scrounger here. And I'll put my grazer here. Rotate him that way. Oh, I left him exposed though. That was a bad idea. How far can he move? He can move two units. Could he kill him? Crap. I might be screwed. My turn. Well, let's see what happens. I might be screwed. Yep, it's over. I won the game. Dang it. Guess I'm just that good. Ah, I should have been able to win that. All good right, luck. I'm learning. I'm learning. Let's try this again. Throw him up there. Scrounger. You can chill there. Hey, Lawrence. It's going well. Just trying to figure out this freaking game. <laughs> I'm not very good at it yet. Let's see. I want my scrapper actually a little bit closer. Let's put him there. We'll put another one in the back line if I have another. And I just have a charger. Let's put, yeah, I'm just gonna make a line here. My bristleback can go over here where we won't hurt anybody. Your return. All right. I'm gonna put a scrapper here. Actually, let's put him up there. Yeah, that'll be a nice little spot for him to chill. Put a scrapper there, and then uh, our scrounger can just chill right here. Okay, I can do this. Rude. Your time to shine, friend. Okay. Oh, he's got a freaking bristle back there. All right, well, I think I think we just sacrifice our scrapper at this point. We'll move him here. Turn him around and blast that dude. And do we overcharge? Nah. I think we just uh, finish him off with maybe our scrounger. Yeah. Oh, that would do a damage to him, though. We will go up here. Let's 
Let's get that piece out of there. All right. So that scrapper's screwed. I'm not worried about him. Oh, that's my cue. He's just gonna get wrecked. Oh no, that's not what I was expecting. One down. That was not ideal. All right. Ow. Your time to shine, friend. Oof. Machine down. Oh god. He's wrecking me. But the good news is I still have this piece. It never works. Like I have to actually be exactly two pieces away though. I don't like that. Or two spaces. So maybe what we do is we send in this guy. Overcharge him, maybe. Alternatively, we send in our lance horn. Well, he can't do much there either. Let's see, if I move him there, he still has three attack power. Hmm. Actually, you know what? If these two teamed up, they would kill him. Yeah, let's do that. Move him there. Rotate, take him out, and then bring this guy in to finish him, and he would ram him. That's not going to do anything. Yeah, that's fine. All right, cool. And there it goes. In that turn. Man, my bristleback has achieved. Oh no. And there it goes. That's not ideal. Although, this could work. This could work. So that piece is worth... Oh, it's just a scrounger. It's worth one. I need to take out two more of his pieces. I could sprint... Oh! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If I move him up there, he gets four attack power. That doesn't do much. I think we want to just take this out. I'm probably overcharged to do it. Yeah. It's probably my Oh wait, I can move there without sprinting? Oh no, I gotta sprint there too. All right, we're gonna sprint back here. We're gonna take him out. Machine down. And uh I guess we'll just move him right there. Right? He's got four health. How much damage could he do to me? Not much. I could move him just right there. He'd take the one. He'd actually take two things of damage. The question is, could he finish me off? I don't know if he could. Oh, he's got decent damage. Now let's wait. I'm gonna just move him. I can move three spaces. Ugh. I don't like that. Alright, I'm just gonna move him over here. Oh, wait. That was dumb. Ah, oh, that was a dumb move. Oh, well. Gotta think this through. Yeah, he's gonna move there, overcharge, and kill me. Ah, oh, why did I do that? I could have moved one more space to the left, That's a game. but I didn't because I'm a practice. dummy. Maybe you can beat me next time. Cause I'm a dummy. Ah, oh, man, I had it. I forgot that he gets buffed from the freaking grass. All right. Blah. Put my bristle back there. Lancehorn there. Scrounger there. Hey, MRP. How am I liking it? I like it. 100%ing this is going to be a challenge. 
Always. We like a challenge. Put him there. Charger can go here, I guess. Grazer. Let's put him over here. Your turn. All right. I'm just going to move him up one space. And the Lancehorn can go up one space as well. Okay. I can do this. God, that thing moves so far. I'm done. Alright, that's uh great, actually. I can move him up here and do a crap load of damage. Yeah, he's just done. Bad move. One down! Bad move. Okay, that helps. My Lancehorn could go back here and attack him from the back. Yeah, we'll do that. It leaves him exposed, but that's okay. Wait. Oh, did I sprint there? Ah, crap. I didn't realize I sprinted there. Well, whatever. Still gonna do a crap load of damage to him. Blah. Alright, my turn. Take it. Off the board you go, buddy. Right, that was not ideal. That was not ideal at all. Let's move him there. Or do I need to do that? No, I don't need to go up there. That just leaves me exposed. Oh, but that does... Wait, that does two damage to me? Why? Oh, because of his defense rating? Wait, what? I don't, I don't understand that. Why would that do two damage to me? I don't understand that. Okay. Well, whatever. We'll move him here and take him out. Let's get that piece out of there. Yeah, I don't know why that one was gonna damage me. All right, what could I do with this bristleback? How far can he move? He can move two. Wide Maw, he does a crap load of damage. Let's just have my Bristleback chill over here. Alright, I'm winning. Four to three. Oh, that's my cue. Ow. Five to four, but he left his dude there exposed, so I can just go over here and go hello from the back, and he's dead. Off the board you go, buddy. All right, now my scrounger probably want to stay away from him. He does a ton of damage, so let's just let's just move him over here. Although I probably don't want them right on top of each other. I think he rams. Yeah, he's a ram type. So I'll just pull them back here. Time for me to step up. Ooh, he left himself exposed on the backside. How much damage would that be? Four damage? Oh yeah. This might be the win. This might be the win. It's the win. It's the win the last of my boards here a reward all right got the charger strike piece and 100 metal shots this dude is defeated see you around i've got boards ready to go if anyone wants to play some strike all right we gotta cook here friend from the nora coming by hmm just got a local stew we could get. 20% maximum health for three minutes. I, don't, I haven't... I keep forgetting about the food, actually. I'll use food uh, when we're about to enter a hard fight. I've got one ready to go. Looking for a real challenge? Play machine...
What is that? Oh, looks like we found a data point, and who do we have here? The Stitcher. Oh, he's got a rare outfit, the Nora Sentinel. The garb of an accomplished Nora sharpshooter worn by those who fought in the Red Rays. We need a Sky Drifter circulator to pick this up. Looks well, pretty good, though. Concentration plus and stamina regen. And, ooh, also 10 damage. Versus. Wait, what's the versus mean? I would assume that's just... Wait. Oh, no, never mind. Never mind, I'm being dumb. Yeah, so versus impact damage. It's 13 defense, and then, yeah, yeah. I was thinking about it in terms of attack, and I'm like, wait a minute. Why would it say versus if it's boosting, but it wasn't. Alright, so what do we got here? Itamins, or Itamins, uh, Shadow Captured. A journal filled with Karja glyphs, marked with the seal of Nozar Aaron Kuvaman. When I read that Itamans, or Itamans Shadow had been captured, I asked myself, where was his honor? Did he sacrifice himself in battle? Did he give his blood in shame? No, he let himself be taken alive. On top of that, the Sun King took mercy on him, the very same traitor who kidnapped his half-brother during the liberation of Meridian. From Avad's pronouncement, the rift between or the rift between Rias, known as Edaman's Shadow, and his brother Urid, the Arrow of the Sun, is the same wound that afflicts all families cleft by the Civil War. As such, injuries must be healed if the Sundom is to move forward. So Rias lives on albeit locked in a cell in Sunstone Rock for the rest of his days. Avad is a good man, but far too kind. I cannot prove blameless Murad's part in this, but he must be involved. The stay of execution reeks of politics, a bone thrown to noble families with ties to the old regime, just the kind of craven gesture the spymaster would propose. Now, as shadows pass with the dawn, I can only hope that Rias is forgotten forever. His treachery should earn him nothing. Let him rot in the dark. On that. Go in light. Yes. I'm gonna assume that's where Studious, whatever his name is at. He's got some guards, most likely. Are you looking for garments and armor? You keep in the light as well. Alright, who is that over there? Hunter Goods. And my stash. Alright, what you got? An explosive blast sling. A common sight among Utaru warriors, this weapon excels at firing explosive and purge water bombs. I don't have any purge water. Takes a fanghorn circulator and shards. Let's go ahead and pick that up. We'll try it in place of the frost sling for now. We got a swift warrior bow. This fast firing Tanakh bow is best suited to close quarters combat and deals extra damage while sliding or in midair. That seems very situational. Perks is uh, plus 10% agility damage. Sure, take it. We'll try it in slot in, in, um, in to replace the uh, regular warrior bow. And then we got the knockdown sharp shot bow. This long-range Utaro bow specializes in firing arrows that have high knockdown power and deal a low amount of damage. Interesting. That doesn't seem like a low amount of damage. Oh, it means specifically the knockdown arrows because it seems like it shoots the regular arrows as well. Alright, burrow or circulator, that's no big deal. I'll buy that. Uh, we'll replace the shock trip caster for now. Uh, what else? She's got a slicing shredder gauntlet. A Karja weapon that uses tear ammo to slice enemies. Hold the weapon drawn before firing to tear into enemies longer. Each catch charges the shredder and increases its damage. So, a huge tear on that. 60 tear. There's, there seems to be tear version and lesser tear version. That's still a ton of tear damage and a little bit more impact. It does have a coil slot currently available. And its perks is plus 10% component tear. It takes a leap lasher circulator, which I do have. 
So let's try it out. How am I liking the game so far? I like it. It is good. Uh, let's see. We'll replace the... Ex well, I never tried the explosive tripcaster. Maybe we'll replace the... Uh, shock warrior bow for right now. Cool. Some new toys to play with. And I should really do some upgrades because we haven't upgraded. Let's see. An ammo that deals purge water damage is now available in your inventory. Use your focus to scan enemies and see if they are weak to purge water. Hitting them with purge water will build up the drenched state. Once in this state, their Good elemental player. attacks are disabled and they become more vulnerable to frost and shock attacks. Shoot purge water canisters with purge water nice arrows weapons. to detonate them and trigger a large yeah, elemental explosion. All right, wasn't there a bench nearby? Knockdown precision arrows are now available for one of your sharp shot bows. These arrows do less damage than standard types, but have a high knockdown power, which allows you to stagger or knock down enemies more easily. Remember to aim for the legs. Knockdown is incredibly useful because you can follow up with those um, critical strikes. Shredder gauntlets fire projectiles that slice into machines and become more powerful with each catch. After three catches, their next impact explodes. Ugh. Hold R2 before firing to fully charge the shredder in order to tear into enemies longer and deal more damage. Shredders deal very high tear damage, which is ideal for detaching machine components. So that is definitely a new else. weapon. Take a look. Where is the workbench? I wasn't paying attention. Hmm. Oh, wait. I just saw it. Oh, it's over here. All right. So there's a bunch of stuff we could potentially upgrade here. Yeah, look at this. So many things. All right, so we've got our explosive trip caster. Shards and braided wire. We'll upgrade this. Sure. Just upgrade everything that we might use. So I'll wait on that. I don't want to burn through all my slivers right away. Swift warrior bow. Upgrade this bad boy. And the Fanghorn Circulator, I don't know yet if I want to go that route. Knock down Sharp Shot Bow, give that an upgrade. The Shredder Gauntlets play Frisbee. Be sure to catch the disc because as you catch it, then throw it back at the enemy. You save ammo and stack combo, but you want motion aim assist. Hmm. Let's see about that. Uh, that takes a Leap Lasher Circulator. I don't have that. The Shredder Gauntlet, we can upgrade this with a sliver. I, that seemed like a good idea. This has four upgrades that are possible. Oh, and I got a new weapon attribute, plus 5% critical hit chance. So this thing's pretty nice. Uh, this would use one of my fragments to upgrade. But look at that component tear damage goes up to 25%. Yeah, let's do that. Let's definitely do that. All right. So that has been upgraded significantly. Explosive blast sling, sure. I am getting low on braided wire, which is interesting. My hunter bow, still don't want to use that burrower sound shell just yet. Uh, this is definitely an upgrade we want to do, the fire hunter bow. Definitely. Prototype spike throw, I really don't like this thing very much, but I'll give it one upgrade. I've got the wire. Rope caster, I don't have a wire. Sharp shot bow. I don't have the components to upgrade any of these things. I've upgraded them previously. All right, cool. And then outfit upgrades. Looks like I could upgrade the Nora Huntress, potentially. That would take a fragment. And I'm not ready to commit to that. Oh, pouch upgrades. Nice. Uh, resource pouch. We could bump that up to 30 medicinal berries. Oh, wait, what? I can't carry 24 berries currently, can I? I don't think I can. I do want to upgrade my potion pouch. Five potions seems like a good idea. So let's do that. And then... Resource pouch, a tripwire. Let's go resource. Cool. Alright. That's enough upgrading for now. A coil slot has been unlocked for one of your weapons. Coils can be equipped on weapons to improve their performance. 
Tap square when viewing the weapon in your inventory to modify its coils. Let's go ahead and throw a coil on that weapon. That would be uh, the slicing shredder gauntlet. So edit coils. And we, well, seems like we should just give it more tear damage since that's the specialty. So there we go. So definitely have a very strong tear weapon now. That will come in handy, I'm sure. Alright, something back there. Small valuables cash. Have not been over there. Is there any reason to go? Oh, that's just the that one resource in the water. What's that? You, I know you see me. Slow down. Are you late for work? You must be in a hurry. Is a quest up here? Maybe? Oh, he's, he's down there. Wait, no? Oh, he's over there. All right, let's go say hello to this guy. Where's Erend? That looks like he's had a few. Oh. Um, let's talk to Aaron first. That broken ribs will do that to you. Right. <laughs> because that's what pissed me off, Forge. <laughs> yeah, you. Gentlemen. That's our cue. You taking the edge off? Huh. Well, I mean, I'd ask you to join, but who'd be left to save the world, right? <clears throat> All right, now let me guess. You're in a rush, right? So, uh, whatever you need, ask away. How have you been? How have things been since and I... Your silent departure? <laughs> yeah, not bad. Vanguard's going strong. Help Devad pick up the pieces after the battle with the Eclipse. And I took a month to bury Ursa in the claim. But when I got back, I got the assignment to babysit Wadis on his way to the embassy. I thought that'd be a cakewalk, so of course things went sideways. You got blindsided. It wasn't your fault. <laughs> a couple more of these, maybe I'll believe you. Ursa? I was, um... Wondering if you were able to lay Ursa to rest, like you wanted. Uh, yeah, yeah, we did. Uh, just seen the crowd that showed up to pay their respects. Half of them owed her a favor, and the other half, the other half owed her their lives. In the end, everybody drank. You know, that is the rowdiest funeral since, uh, well, since ever. <laughs> Feels like she would have liked that. Yeah, damn straight. Damn straight. <laughs> she would have put them all under the table. The embassy? What do you know about the embassy? Oh, yeah, not much. Only that Avad really wants it to happen. He said I'm making peace with these Tanakh. But from what I hear, they're not too big on the whole diplomacy thing. They do most of their talking with blades and arrows. So if you're heading their way, be prepared. Things might get ugly real fast. I'll keep that in mind. <clears throat> Baron Light. What do you know about this place? Well, nothing good. It's where the Karja dragged all the captives they took from the Forbidden West during the Red Raids. Lucky ones became slave labor. The rest were hauled off to the Sunring and Meridian. For sacrifice. You got it. 
Tanakh made sure to wreck the place before they chased the Karja out of the west. I can't say I blame them. And now Avad's paying the Azram to rebuild it. And no matter how much new stone they put up, it'll still be stained in blood. I have to go. I, um, I better get going. Oh, uh, yeah, don't let me stop you. Just, uh, are you sure about this? Yeah, I'm saving the world. That's, that sounds like a lot for just one errand. Yeah, all right. Can't blame you for trying. I, I guess what I'm really trying to say is if you ever do need me, I know where to find you. Hopefully sober next time. Yeah, don't count on it. Be careful out there, Aloy. I don't like that they made Aaron so pouty. Alright, uh, anyways, uh, it's about... Yeah, we're at the three hour mark now, so let me find the campfire, save it up, and, uh... This is where we'll wrap things up. There is something over there. It's interesting. Remind me to check that out. Well, I'll see it on the map. But yeah, we made it to Baron Light. And uh, people want stuff here. Save that over. No side quest? Not tonight. Of course we'll be doing it. Just, uh, it's time to go for the night. Uh, but yeah, that is everything we're going to do tonight. Uh, tomorrow night, I'll be playing Rainbow Six. Thank you all for coming. Hope you had a good time. And I'll see you all 